Righto, this is going to be our, I guess, week two. Week two. Week two of our $1,000 challenge. February month challenge. And what a week it has been. What a expensive week it's been for our emergency funds. I'll put that out there. Uh, a lot of all the stuff that's happened, the hotel rooms, that monstrosity above us, um, that's all going to be classified as emergency funds. Uh, well, it's up to you guys if you think we failed, we failed, but we've easily spent over triple our budget just in hotels. Hotels and the tent. In less than a week. Yeah. But we'll say it again, that's emergency funds and uh, we'll get down to the nitty gritty of what we spent because we still did eat to plan, sort of. Uh, we ate to plan, we used our fuel and everything to plan, but we did eat out twice. Yeah. Simply because... Hotel rooms, couldn't cook. Yeah, and... Forgot to get stuff up for dinner. Forgot to bring stuff to cook dinner with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, it just the stress sort of got a hold of us. But we'll work that into the budget as well. Yeah. What do you reckon? Up or down budget? Well, you know actually. I know so. already. What do you reckon? I know for a fact we're over budget. How do you know for a fact? I just have a feeling we're over budget <laughs> with the amount we spent on all the other crap. Okay. But we had one sort of goal as well, cut down on coffees. Yeah, which, which you did do. Yep. Actually. And I've got to put out there as well, um, I love the recommendations about the coffee and all that, but in our opinion, you can't beat a freshly made, what is it, barista made coffee. What's going on over there? Yeah, you go for a coffee, you go to a coffee shop for a reason, let's face it. Yeah. You cannot make, unless you have one of those fancy machines. You cannot make a coffee like a coffee shop does, well, yeah. can you? Yeah, for the price that they're putting them out, what are they doing? Like They're doing deals now as well. Yeah, $2, $3. Coffees, so yeah. That's our coffee thing. Like, we enjoy, that's our little, I guess, reward sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So we had a budget of $125. Yeah. And $4 remaining from last week, didn't we? And fuel. And yes, it was fuel week. So our budget was 379 for this week, which is actually very high. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you think we've got 250 bucks for fuel budget. Yeah, 125 for accommodation, food, etc., activities, and the $4 that was left over from last week because we came in $4 under last week. Yep. So yeah, all up 379. And this week we came in at Three seven seven oh. five cents. Oh. So we are just under two dollars under. That's good, isn't it? That's I'm pretty impressed with that. The um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. That. <laughs> so we spent this week. We spent fifteen eighty on coffees. Um, I had two. Jack had one. Half that. Um, so yeah, that's looking good. The fuel only came to 225.25, so we came in $24.75 under budget. Um, what else have we got? Friday we went, we had um, dinner, had a takeout, which was $34, and Saturday we had lunch as well, which was 24 um, Which that was the Chinese as well, so it lasted. Dinner. Three, yeah, three meals for yeah. me. Yeah. We spent twelve dollars each. I had a curry. He had Chinese, but he went for the option. I got I got the cheap one. Yeah. On special. <laughs> so eating out, we spent quick math sixty eight dollars. Um. What else we got? We done a Woolworths shop, which was forty six. 30. That was a big pork. Yeah, and we went to Coles and had to get cereal because Woolworths didn't have cereal, so that's 375. And I got some chicken so sausages from a Harris farm, which was three dollars. So all up, that comes to around 50 
bought $54.55. Um, what else did we get? And a big part of that was that big ham, which was $15. Pork. Pork, so pork. Pork roast, yeah. Pork roast, which... Reduced from $40 to $15. And that's lasted. I mean, while I cut it all up, I got three different bags out of it, plus that night's dinner. So froze two bags and then... I still got a bag left in the freezer, and each bag sort of lasts around four days. Didn't it? Yeah, still got some to grow. Mm. And he just got like he just made like pork and gravy rolls and stuff. Yep. In your element. I am. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other big big expenses did we have? That was about it, wasn't it? Yeah. We spent zero dollars on accommodation. Well, we did, but it's yeah. not. That's just we would never have done that. Yep. <laughs> never. That was just unfortunate. Yeah. Um, and also zero dollars on activities as well. Yeah. Not that we really did. <laughs> we just drove literally from the Sunshine Coast to just south of Brisbane about. 20 yeah. times back and forth back and forth back and forth which brings me to say that um week three i feel like we're gonna need fuel um aren't we? But yep. looking ahead i feel like um fuel again will be in our budget next week yeah um because we're gonna we've we're just driving all over the place at the moment <laughs> yeah just trying to get every the van sorted purchasing the tent oh Absolute nightmare. But. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Anywho, that's our little recap on week two. Anything else? No. So obviously our budget next week will be 250 fuel, 125 everything. Oh, oh YouTube videos <laughs> going up, guys. YouTube's live. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> um. Yeah, one, two, five for food, accommodation, yep. activities, and then we have one dollar ninety-five left over from week two. So. So week three is going to be. Three seven. So let me. <laughs> yeah, three seven seven oh five. That's our budget for week three. For week three. And we'll try and push off as much as we can for fuel, but I just don't see it's going to happen with the amount of running around we've done. Yeah, obviously if we don't use fuel, then that budget will, that 250 will go into the last week, yep. which realistically we want, but can't see it happening. Right, hey, this is, well, we need to have a chat, don't we? Mm. Ooh. Um, about the caravan, about the rooftop tent, how everything sort of fits together here. Uh, long story short is, we had originally planned to sell the caravan at the end of February, end of our $1,000 challenge, uh, simply because, A, you're heading back home, aren't you? I'm going home for a bit, yeah. A couple of months, she's heading back to see family, and, well, there's a couple of medical things going on there, isn't there? Yeah. And uh, and just generally to see family. I mean, she's been here. Yeah, and I miss. It's like the longest time I've been without like family and friends, and that really miss them and yeah. other stuff as well. Um yep. But yeah, so time to go home for a while and see them. Yep. And that's well, that's usual. I mean, we do it. Yeah, we always. We sort of live sort of apart together, apart a lot. Um, being, we're being in the mining industry yeah. before this. So just jumping in here while we're editing this, um, we did originally plan to travel Australia the full lap in a year. It's coming up on 11 months, just over 11 months now, and we're only halfway around Australia, which is, I think it's a good thing. But we, yeah, we didn't plan this at all. We planned on being back home after a year. So this is another sort of reason Everything's sort of happening as well. Our plans are moving forwards, but we'll jump back into the video. 
So yeah, that was the plan. We we're gonna sell the caravan and find out where you could fly out from because originally your ticket was in Perth and we we're gonna change it to somewhere over here. But now with all the caravans stuff happening, it's we're just gonna leave it at Perth and we'll leave it how it is, aren't we? Yeah. So we're gonna be getting rid of the caravan. Probably, well, a couple of people have seen it up for sale. Uh, even before all this damage sort of happened. So once the damage is fixed, we're getting rid of it. We're gonna probably beeline it straight back to, well not beeline it, we'll take our time, won't we? Take our time while probably going like, quick. Yeah, probably like three, four weeks maybe. Yep, to get back to WA. And as of now, I think WA, you have to do a week's quarantine, which is no big deal. Hopefully they drop that by the time we get there. But knowing Mark McGowan, that's not gonna He'll probably increase it. Don't say that. <laughs> but anywho, uh, so the rooftop tent is gonna be essentially for me. Um, yeah, we always we always had a plan that Jack would probably continue traveling yeah. while I'm home. But the biggest point in that is I didn't want to keep going around Australia to the bits that we both haven't seen. I'd rather wait until Soch comes back and then we'll do that other bit probably in reverse mm -hmm. and we're also looking at when Sosh does get back we're moving into a bigger van yeah. with a shower toilet all the gear so it's going to be a couple of months of me in the rooftop tent, tent. maybe a tinny hopefully a tinny we'll see how we go we'll see if this uh, how much this fix costs, costs for the caravan and we'll see how we go but it'd be great to have a little tinny and the rooftop tent and go from there but yeah, as of now, rooftop tent for me. Yeah. And no real idea what I want to do, where I want to go. Play it by ear. I'd love to do something that, I don't know, canning stock route or something. Not too sure what I want to do, but that's what it's going to be. Well, um, and me going home is a surprise as well, so I can't exactly tell you guys when I'm going yep. home, just in case the family member is watching. Um, so I'll be recording all of that, so yeah. Yep, stay tuned for that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the February challenge, we wanted, to be at, we, wanted, we wanted it to be our cheapest month. It's turned into... The most expensive. Yeah, the most expensive in a year's worth of travelling. We jinxed it. Yeah. And I want to say a huge thank you as well to Stephen Nick's Adventures. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a couple other guys. You they know keep, who you are. Yeah, they keep checking up on us. Yeah. And also Sending us drinks as well. Huge thank you for that. <laughs> um, it's been, yeah, it's definitely been a stressful time, which I don't think a lot of other YouTube, or like social media people, I guess, are we that? I don't think you really see this side of caravanning or traveling. It's, uh, yeah, definitely stressful, tough. You've been hating every bit of it. <laughs> but it's, it is what it is, it's a reality, so. I guess yeah, we'll leave it at that. It's just knowing what's best to do next. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden you've got all these ideas and then you're like. Shit hits the fan. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, whoa. Yeah. So, yeah. We don't really know what we're doing. We're playing every hour by hour, really. Mm -hmm. Hopefully tomorrow, it's Monday, the van, what's well, Monday for us? Don't know what day it is for you guys. <laughs> Just lost on videos too. And um, hopefully tomorrow, we'll be, uh, we'll be back in our van. Uh, and sorting it out. Yep. Still stressed. <laughs> no, trying to stress, get... Stress free. No, trying to get everything into yeah. the car. That's going to be a fun one. Hey, channel number four, guys. <laughs> and room number four. Room number four as well. I don't know if our faces show this, but it's probably one of the most stressful <laughs> week and a bit. Yeah, nearly two weeks. Yeah, that we've had. But uh, big news. What is it? Caravan's gone. The caravan is gone. Uh, not repaired. Which is is what it is I guess but it's gone um, and we're in the process now of unloading the car as much crap as we can into this room we just paid how much 
2.30 for two nights. 2.30 for two nights. Unload as much crap as we can in this room. Head back over to the caravan where um, the bloke that bought it is. Load the car up with all our crap in there. Hopefully it's only one trip. Come back here, dump it all here and then... Bunnings. Bunnings to get boxes and see if we can load the car up with all our crap. It's going to be like a puzzle. <laughs> but that is the long story short. We are caravanless, we're homeless. We're a rooftop tent people now. <laughs> for, the, for the not too um, long future. Righto, we'll get into this. About a couple of days off. I'm back in front of the camera and feeling a lot better. I certainly am less stressed now that the caravan's off our minds. Yeah, we just, I feel stressed about the next situation. Yeah, loading the car up. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll start loading all this up and then we'll sit down and we'll have another little chat about what our plans are, where we're gonna head from here and whatsoever. Well, first thing, air conditioning on. <laughs> Emptied the car twice, and this is everything out of our van, which is, what do you reckon? I don't know, even know how it fits in the van. Yeah. Um, some of this crap, well, it's going to be going straight in the bin, but it's just amazing how much crap you fit in the van. But anywho, all this stuff, it's going to go in tubs, isn't it? So we're on the way to Bunnings now. We've done a couple of measurements. We know where we really stand, but... Tonight's going to be a long night. Well, tonight and tomorrow won't be a long night, but... Yeah, the whole reason why I've got two nights is because less stress. Yeah. So we'll, I guess, pack them all up in tubs and go from there. Try and get it all in the car, which is going to be a mission. But that, it's just... That little change there... ...is a complete load off both of our minds, I guess. No caravan, um, no real stress of the problems of the caravan. So we'll get into this and get some tubs, eh? And still sticking to our budget, we have got a cheap meal, which I need to whack on our little cooker. There you go, we've got American barbecue beef steak and American barbecue jerk chicken for $2.20 each, which, ooh, I don't know how we're gonna go there. She might not fit. So, <laughs> someone might be missing out on dinner, but we'll see what we can do. There's two little racks, we'll put them in there. This is all we got left, really. Our little number plate which is coming with us, and we've got to drop off. But it was pretty empty back there. <laughs> Get some tubs. Let's do it. Get into this. Come close. Right, oh, we are packed up. We are jam packed um, with everything sort of out of the caravan. It's a bit of crap on the dash, which is always there, but cold a lot of stuff, and this is pretty much our life. Jam packed. We've got clothes that we're going to be using, cookware, stuff we're not going to be using down the bottom there. Um, yeah, jam packed. Fridge cooker, chairs, and a couple more sort of pantry items. And then what have we got in that? My stuff, tools, and that. Yeah. Kitchenware, more pantry stuff. And then Max tracks, which uh, <laughs> they'll be right. They'll stay there for now. And then we've got the office area here. But ram packed ready to go. Um, a bit excited for this as well. Hitting the road, we're heading inland and we've got a little bit of a plan, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. Yep. As for now, we're just heading inland, free camping, sticking to our thousand dollar challenge still. <laughs> and then when we hit South Australia, we want to do the silos, don't we? Yeah, so that art trail. Yeah, silo art trail, which would be pretty I guess pretty cool to see. But anywho, we're packed up, ready to go, caravanless, and stress free. Are you stress free? How quickly are we going to get over the boxes? 
Oh yeah, hundred percent. But anywho, we'll deal with that. Um, solar as well. We're just gonna leave it for now until we get back home and probably do some fair bit of work on this car because it needs a fair bit of work. Run some power up into the tent and the solar properly. That seems to be working fine now. But we'll hit the road, eh? Yep, I need to turn this and show my family. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Shovel's staying here. We're gonna donate that to this hotel. But we'll hit the road. Happy days. Well, we're gonna end this video here. Otherwise, it'll just get a bit out of control lengthwise and putting everything together. Um, we're editing the video now and next week's video might be a bit of a short one. So we're gonna try and do a bit of a Q and A because you guys have probably got plenty of questions and we'll have answers. So leave them down below here in the comments and we'll get to them in Friday's episode. But I just wanna say a huge thank you as well. Uh, we've received an overwhelming amount of support. Um, just, yeah, we can't really believe how much support we've received, how many comments, how many, um, just messages saying keep your chin up, keep smiling uh, if we need anything as well. And we really do want to say a huge thank you to everyone for that. It certainly is the most stressful time we've had on the road and it's not going to stop us. We're going to keep going. And I guess we'll end this video with a little montage on our van, where we've taken it, what we've done in it, because it's been, it's been a ripper little caravan and we've made so many memories in it. Um, yeah. But we've, it has come to the time where we've outgrown it and everything sort of lined up together. But that's what it is. We'll, uh, we'll move on from that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this little montage. Oh, if you haven't already, check out our shirts, jsadventure.com.au. Tonight, I believe, Tuesday is the last night. It'll be cut off tomorrow for the shirt orders. We'll get them in and uh, Touchwood will go from there. Hopefully we can get some sort of rough idea of what the most ordered stuff was and get some stuff on hand as well to send out pretty quick. Um, we just haven't got the room to store everything at the moment and pre-order seems like the way, the way for us at the moment. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and we're back on the road, so stay tuned for that. hit a rock or something and smashed that valve so it's a good
good start. There she is. She's up there. Try and make a little clean job, but um, bloody lucky we caught that. Otherwise, we would have been out of water. So. Pretty much all day driving, and I mean all day, we're here. We're about 60 k's, I think, out of Mitchell Falls. This morning, with all the dew, because we got up so early and headed off so early, all the dew on these roof racks covered our bloody solar panels. So, well, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, check your gear before, we, before you leave it, really. the dust out of the van which was good fun because there was no shortage of dust free advertising for emu yeah pretty good hopefully that keeps all the dust out see how we go should do another problem we ran into was the vents that we blocked up well that didn't do anything there's dust everywhere which Sosha spent the last 20 minutes half an hour cleaning up which is a real pain because we blocked every vent. But, well, and the other thing we could have done is just take the entire van shut. Packing up, I'm dumping all my water just because the dust got into it. That's a right pain. We're gonna have to refill and probably dump again. And uh, managed to have an argument with a post, which is pretty good. So, a um, little bit of damage there. Well, that's, what we were dealing with and I guess we're just going to leave that to catch in that tray there while we go to Edith Falls and have a little swim, have a look around.
<laughs> that hitch broke, the caravan just would have flown off the cliff and um, that would have been our life gone, but we made it up. And it's absolutely bucketing down. We, uh, we managed to sort of pull up just as the rain cleared a little bit. Popped everything up, got all set up, and um, it started raining and bucketing down, but we're good. chosen this little spot because it's under a tree for now you can sit out there have a beer in the shade so it's still I think it's only dropped to 36 and it's six o'clock now well it's about 9 30 and um, gale force winds this storm's coming in hard But we're gonna have to pack up, or well, not pack up. I just dropped all the legs. We're gonna move forward a bit because we've parked. We parked under this tree. I don't know if you can see that, but with all this wind, with all this wind, we're a bit scared. If something falls off that tree onto the van, it'll be the end of it. So we're gonna move forward another 10, 15 meters just out from under this tree. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a wet, wild, loud night. But we've gone from one extreme again, back to the other. Might be on the toilet later. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> 